Well, this is always fun. It's time for weather school. What do you got for us today? Well, Dan, what do you know about the jet stream? Nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Clean slate. Let's, uh, yes. let's work with that. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. Hearing jet stream may invoke an image of a jet plane. It turns out there is a connection between the two. Pilots get a front row seat to this important weather feature. As we dive into the jet stream, we need to hit the skies. Passengers, please fasten your seat belts. We are ready for liftoff. The jet stream is a current of strong winds high in the atmosphere. Reaching all around the globe, it's a large scale feature that can have big impacts on our local weather. The jet stream is driven by differences in temperature, and temperature changes with latitude. The equator receives more heat from the sun than anywhere else. That's why it gets colder as you move toward the poles. Jet streams form where warm and cold areas come together. On average, jet streams move at about 110 miles per hour. They can pick up past 250 miles per hour. That tends to happen in the winter when the temperature difference between the poles and the tropics are the most extreme. The winds in jet streams blow from west to east, but the flow often shifts to the north and south, creating what we call ridges and troughs. The jet stream helps steer low pressure systems. If the jet is weak or if a weather system is far away from the jet stream, we get stretches of days with the same weather in the same areas. This can lead to droughts and floods, heat waves and cold snaps. Jet streams can even affect air travel. Jets are typically five to nine miles above the Earth. Planes flying within the jet make great time, but going against it can delay your arrival. Folks, that concludes our flight for today. Thanks for flying and have a great day. Well, that's amazing how that can, you know, affect the air travel. Yeah, right? Well, and more locally, our weather so far this summer, you know, the drought that we've experienced, that's been because we've had a lot of stalled out weather patterns that have mm. kept the wet areas wet, the dry areas dry, and the jet stream has played a role in that blockage. I love these weather schools. <laughs> Always learning so much. Thanks, Brandon.